Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can control the formatting properties of selected text by using the font dialog box as well as the formatting toolbar. In this dialog box you can access the font properties and change them for the selected text or to set up properties for text that you're about to type. So if you're going to apply it to previously created text, simply make your selection first, then go to Format from the menu bar and click the Font command. In the Font dialog box which appears, there's many text effects available that you can add to enhance the visual appeal of the text, and some of these aren't actually options in the formatting toolbar. Whenever Microsoft gives you the opportunity to accomplish basically the same task, either using a toolbar or a dialog box, the toolbar commonly will have the most common options, while the dialog box will always have all of the options and be more thorough. So here what we have is a preview of the current font down below. You can use the font box to select different fonts, which you can then see in the preview. The font style allows you to apply a style like italic, bold, bold italic, or just regular. The size indicates the font size. Font color is a drop down here that you can choose to set the font color. Underline style allows you to vary the underline style. When you use the underline button on the formatting toolbar, it underlines everything with a single underline. Using this drop down allows you to highlight or underline just the words only, apply double underlines, or any of the er other variations on the underline. If you didn't want an underline, just choose none at the top of the drop down. If you do apply an underline, however, that then makes the underline color active and note that you could have a different underlying color versus the text if you prefer. In the effects section you can check or uncheck any additional effects you'd like to apply such as a strike through or a double strike through which are useful for contracts and noting changes to terminology. You may also do superscript or subscript you can apply shadows, outlines, emboss, or engrave. You may also make things small caps or all caps. Hidden simply makes the font invisible. Once you had applied whatever font selections you want, you can simply click OK to see it applied. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.